So if you're like me, you got into 3D printing for props like big helmets and swords and, and stuff like that. So you want a good size printer. You don't want to have to weld a million pieces together. And I'd say that starts at the 300 by 300 build plate. Well, the best 300 by 300 printer out there right now is the Ender 3 V3 Plus. And I'm gonna explain how in a lot of ways it's even better than the K1 Max. Let's get into it. What's going on? I'm Dylan from Saturday Morning Props where I teach how I do everything from how to get started in 3D printing to how to make Beetleborgs and Iron Man suits and things like that. I've been 3D printing for a long time and I actually started with a 300 by 300 printer. The first printer I ever had was a Creality CR10 and that was my favorite because I wanted to be able to print helmets in one shot. This here is actually my very first helmet and this was printed on the CR10. And I am so jealous that people now get to start 3D printing with printers like the Ender 3 V3 Plus. It is like a CR10 on steroids. It's 300 by 300 by 330. That's 30 millimeters bigger than the K1 Max vertically. I printed this ginormous Hellbat helmet on that thing. My buddy has just under a 25 inch head, which is pretty big. And this helmet came out perfect and fits great on that printer. You can fit some seriously large helmets and props on that thing. And the quality is so good. I also 3D printed an entire pit droid, which I'm gonna work on during this video. And with the Ender 3 V3's build volume, I didn't have to split the head at all. I printed this entire thing in one piece. So now I don't have to join all of these pieces together. The Ender 3 V3 is a Core XZ printer. It's almost the same style as the top of the K1 Max, but flipped vertically. This allows it to have crazy fast speeds like 600 millimeters per second. I use Orca Slicer's default settings, so whatever speed that is, it isn't 600 meters per second, but it prints really fast. To bring this helmet back up, I did this entire thing in under 24 hours. There's so much detail and this is a huge volume. One of the things that I am so jealous of because you guys get to start with something like this is their auto bed leveling. This is truly amazing. Their, their bed leveling, you don't have to do anything to it. It auto calibrates. There are other 300 by 300 printers out there like the Cobra and the Elgu Neptune Plus. Those are both that same size, but those still use a bed knob system that you still have to actually paper level the bed. This printer, once you set it up, is plug and play. It calibrates and you will be able to print this with default settings on Orca. This print here was my literal first print on that printer. I did no benchies, no nothing. I literally sliced this in Orca Slicer and I was ready to roll and it came out perfect, no issues. When I got into printing, I had to do a lot of calibration. I had to learn bed leveling and still didn't get it perfect over time. But now you don't have to worry about that at all. The bed is on a dual rod system and has two Y motors, it's awesome. Another feature that it has is a clog-free nozzle and an easy change nozzle. Back when I was on the CR10, it was a Bowden tube setup, and eventually the tube would kind of creep away from the nozzle, or you could have a gap if you didn't cut it perfectly, and you could get a little bit of under extrusion if you had a gap in your nozzle in the Bowden tube. Now you don't have to worry about all that at all, and it's direct drive. That means that the filament is pulled from the motors right by the nozzle, instead of trying to push it all the way through the machine. And now they have a quick change tri-metal nozzle, Whereas with the K1 Max, you had to take the nozzle completely apart to change things out. I upgraded my K1 Max to a micro Swiss hot end, but now you have things like this where you can do the same thing. Well, I can't talk about all of the good things without talking about some of the flaws it has, because it does have some flaws. One is that it's a bed slinger. So the bed has to move back and forth on that Y axis. Whereas something like the K1 Max gets to lower down and the nozzle does all of the movements. That's very helpful with tall, skinny prints because when the bed is moving back, when you have so much weight that gets pretty high because it's a big printer, you can start to get wobble, Z-banding, things like that. But as you can see, I've done some pretty tall prints and they came out great. So it really does well still. But for something that's super thin and really tall, I would say go a lot slower, put it on silent. That's another thing we should talk about. This printer is loud as heck. With my other bed slinger printers that I have, they're really quiet. But this one with all of the speed that it has is just super, super loud. So if you're buying this, you need to make sure that you have it in a separate room from your living space or from your bedroom, things like that. This is a printer that is really loud. There is a silent mode. It's going to decrease your speed a ton. But yeah, just know that, that this printer is quite loud. But with the speed of these printers, most are these days. My truly only quiet printers are the ones that are much, much slower. 
Would I recommend this printer to my family and friends? 100%. It's a seriously awesome machine, and I, like I said, I'm jealous that people get to start with that now when I started on something like the CR10. Also, by the way, this Pitroid file is by Droid Division over on Etsy, and his files are amazing. They are super easy to put together. He slices them for different style printers, like big or small, and then on top of that, he pre-orients them to be structurally sound, so you don't even have to really know how to organize them on the build plate. He does a lot of the work for you, and I absolutely love these. I mean, you guys can see a big project back there <laughs> that is also being worked on. I guess I'm addicted to doing droids right now, um, but that's because the files are so easy and they just come out so great on these printers. Another small thing I like about the Ender 3 V3 Plus is that it actually comes with a textured build plate. That's super nice. The K1 Max came with a smoother one. This textured one, man, I really think it holds these prints really well. And another small thing, the way that the build plate lines up, there's two screws in the back of the build plate that allows you to just stick the plate back in there and then it magnetically grabs itself. That is so nice. All printers these days use these magnetic beds, but so many of them have alignment tabs that don't work that well. So you kind of like have to lift it up and then move it and get it adjusted and then snap it back down and it's slightly off. You lift it back up, you try to move it over and then the magnet grabs too soon. With the Creality beds, having those two screws in the back that align into these two V grooves is really helpful and you don't know you need it until it happens. Sadly, I just realized my order of 35 millimeter bolts hasn't showed up, so I can't attach the arms, so I can't finish the droid in this video. But the whole point of the video was how cool the Ender 3 V3 Plus is. And with a little bit of movie magic, I actually did get this done before editing the video. So yeah, this thing is awesome. It's posable. I get to just have it sit up here and do funny things with it. I've got many more droids coming. Like I said, as you see the one in the back there, droid division files are awesome. Check this thing out. And luckily, if you're watching this as the video came out, it's during Black Friday now. So we're in November and those deals have already started and the price on this thing is awesome. I'll have a link in my link tree for an Amazon list, but you can also go onto Creality's website. But to recap, it's 300 by 300 by 320, slightly bigger than the K1 Max. It's just as fast. It has a new better hot end that you can change on the fly. It's great for beginners because it works right out of the box. It has auto bed leveling, a nice textured build plate. It's lower cost than the K1 Max as well. It has better features than the other 300 by 300 printers out there. If you're looking for a build volume that's great for full size helmets and big props and things like this, then the Ender 3 V3 Plus is a great printer for you and I think you should definitely grab one. Watch another video after this, like how to size helmets. Love you guys, peace. This part is separate, but that...